Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Today, um, we're going to talk about, um, I'm going to use a, a, a topic, a subject. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. Um, repentance is to change one's mind. It means to change one's mind. True repentance will result in a change of action or behavior. Um, a change of action, true repentance. If you truly repent, then you will see some change in your action or your behavior. Um, so repentance is a change of one's mind that results in a change of one's action or be behavior. Um, uh, it's a, when you repent, there's a, it's a new way of thinking about God and about sin, about holiness and about doing God's will. That's what repentance brings. It, it changes your thought pattern, your action, your behavior. And you start thinking about the things of God, like sin, about holiness and about doing the will of God. Um, so um, we should be repenting every day because of the sinful nature that this flesh is about. It's very sinful. Um, let me just ask you some questions and then we're going to deal with sin. Um, before I ask you the questions, sin, the definition of sin, S-I-N, sin is all unrighteousness. All unrighteousness is sin. All unrighteousness is sin. Anything, the Bible says, anything that is not of faith, anything that is not of faith is sin. So let's let's just ask a few questions. Let's, let's just look at our life. Let's, let's, let's look at our life through the question that I'm going to ask. And if you're at home by yourself and nobody's in there, when I ask the question, I want you to raise your hand. Now, I'm not going to raise my hand because some of this, I should be raising my hand. But since I can't see you raise your hand, <laughs> I'm not going to raise my hand to the questions. But if you're at home by yourself, not if you're with your husband or whatever, only do this if you're by yourself. Because I don't want anybody judging your past because they will freeze you in your past. You will be frozen in your past. And people sometimes can't get over that we had a past that wasn't so good. And so... I don't want you to do that in front of anybody. I want you to do it if you're by yourself. But I'm going to ask a few questions. How many of you have ever stolen something in your life? How many of you have you ever stolen? I mean, it don't have to be something big like a TV from Walmart. It could be a pen from your job. It can be little stickies. It could be paper. It could be something that you took from your job that you did not ask them. Could you have it? It could be um, when you drink one bottle of water and it's normal to get one bottle of water, but you, when everybody's gone, you get about 10 of them and you take them home. Um, so stealing is stealing. If you're taking it and, and you didn't ask for it, that's stealing. So when I ask how many of you have stolen something, if you're at home by yourself, raise your hand. Um, nobody's seeing you. You're just being honest with God right now because we have to deal with some stuff that's in us that needs to come out. And we need to, um, God has already forgiven us, but we have to forgive ourselves. How many of you have ever committed adultery? How many of you have ever committed adultery? Um, now, only if you're in the house by yourself, do you wait, raise your hand. If you've ever committed adultery for single people, if you ever committed fornic fornic fornication, I can never say that word. But if you are sleeping around and you're not married, that is a sin. How many of you have done that? How many of you have thought about hurting someone? Someone make you angry and you think about hurting them. You think evil. You want bad, uh, you want bad, something bad to happen to them. How many of you have ever thought that? How many of you have gossiped about your friend? How many of you have gossiped about your friend? And then you turn around and the way you justify it is to say, I only told them because I knew they were going to pray. That's justifying you gossiping. Because nobody needs to know what your, what your friend told you in secrecy. And so, you know, I had to learn that, that God had to show me. Don't even tell your sisters. If somebody tell you in secret and tell you don't tell anybody, 
because you trust your, your sisters. If they say don't tell anybody, your sisters is part of don't tell anybody. They they going to be group that group of, of people. So God had to show me you quit telling Tam and Vicky when people tell you that, even though you know they're not going to go to nobody. Don't you tell them how many of you gossip about your friends and then want to turn around and say, oh, y'all pray for her. She's going through this. And you tell every detail she told you. How many of you have had an abortion? How many of you have murdered someone, injured someone, harmed someone, harmed yourself with drug addiction, overdose, suicidal thoughts because of the life you're living? How many of you have ever been in prison? How many of you have ever molested someone? Molested a child, harmed the elderly, was a bully at school, was a bully at your job, domestic violence. How many of you, domestic violence, you're fighting your husband or you're fighting your wife? How many of you committing fraud every day, scams every day? Lies and more lies every day. How many of you? The Bible says we have two natures, good and bad. There is a battle within our flesh every day. Of our, we, no, there is a battle going on with our flesh every day. There's a battle going on in the inside of us with our flesh that, that's in Galatians 5 and 17. That's in the Bible. God is telling you about your flesh. There is a battle with flesh every day of our lives. Fighting. Repentance is to change one's mind. To change your thinking about faith, about sin, about all the things that's unrighteous. Repentance. So you go to God and you ask for forgiveness and you repent you change your ways. You change your ways, your thoughts, your actions, your behavior. You change that. Now, I called out all of those questions. And I'm sure a lot of us could raise our hands on that. So you are not alone. You look at everybody else and you think they got it going on. You just don't know their story. You don't know my story. You don't know your pastor's full story. He's going to share a little, but they're not sharing everything with you. So don't think you're the worst person in the world that didn't raise your hand on all those questions I asked. And you raising your hand on all of them. You think you're the worst person in the world. No, you're not. You are not alone. It's time to repent, y'all. It's time to change from our sinful nature, our sinful ways, our sinful behavior. It is time to repent. It is time to ask God to forgive us for those things we've done to ourselves and to others. It's time to change. It is time, y'all. It is time. Listen, in the, um, in, in the Bible, um, Apostle Paul is the one who wrote most of the Old Testament. And um, um, God changed him. God could change anyone. God changed Apostle Paul um, and gave him the strength and the wisdom and the endurance to carry out the, mi the mission Jesus entrusted him with. Paul, uh, Apostle Paul was a murderer of Christians. And God changed his life, changed him, and used him in a mighty way. That's what God did. And Paul's most famous line, the famous statement, his most famous statement in the Bible is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's in Philippians 4 and 13. That's what Paul said. And if you read uh, um, 
I forgot what verse, I'm going to put them at the bottom of the um, video. But Paul talks about how he want to do right. And he, 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 when he try to do right, bad is always staring him in the face. And he try to, when he think he got it right, then bad is just knocking on the door. I'm not saying the right, I'm kind of paraphrasing it in my mind. But he was talking about how bad the flesh is. Um, now, this is somebody that God used. And he's telling you what, what, um, what his flesh was like before God changed him. Um, and so he tells us that so we can understand what we're dealing with, what type of flesh that's fighting against us. Again, um, um, the Bible says that there is a battle. We th There is a battle with the flesh every day of our lives. That's what the Bible says. That is the inspired word of God. It tells us about what's going on inside of us. So if you one that keeps seeing things and doing things that is against who you are, that is a, a, that's a spiritual warfare. That is the enemy trying to take you out. When he put bad thoughts in your mind, have you gone out committing all type of crime or um, committing adultery or all the things I, I called out. If you go on doing any of that, that is the enemy that's pulling you by the hand. Because listen, the enemy can't make you do anything the devil can't make you do anything. Flip Wilson told us the devil made me do it. That's for the older people. Young people won't know Flip Wilson. But Flip Wilson, you say, the, the devil made me do it. No, the devil did not make you do it. You did it because you want to. You wanted to. Because he who is in us is greater than he who is out there in the world trying to take us out. The Bible says he who is in, great, who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. And so the devil did not make you do it. You did it because if you don't feed yourself the word of God, no telling what you would do, no telling what you would do. And you see it on TV. You see it on the news. You see what's happening to our young people. You see how people are having road rage, how uh, parents are killing their kids. Kids are killing their parents. Young people are walking into elementary school, shooting up innocent, innocent, innocent babies. Um, that's evil all over the world because the flesh is is the flesh is fighting. Is we're in a battle with it each day, and that's what God has told us about our flesh. So it's time to repent. It's time to change your 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 life to turn yourself and look towards God and ask God for help. Um, I'm gonna say a prayer, and I'm gonna get off of here. I'm going to pray for the nature, this, that, that nature that's inside of you that wants to do bad, that wants to, um, when you want to go right, that nature want to go left. When you want to um, go straight, that nature want to turn you around, go the opposite way. That's not listening to God's voice. That's the enemy. And so we have to recognize who's talking to us and when to shut that thing down. We need to pull the brakes on the enemy. He has no more control of your life as of today. As of today, listen, you're going to say no to that voice that you know is leading you down the wrong track, the, 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 the dark side. You're going to say no to that voice. And it starts today. You are in control of what you feed in your mind. You are in control of it. You are. And so it starts today. What you're getting ready to feed your mind to get you ready for your new chapter in your life. Um, I don't know your age, but people are dying at 13, 20, 40, 60. Some people are not living to be 70, 80, 90. Very, very uh, few people are living to be in their 90s because people are dying quickly. We don't know when the last day that we're going to breathe our next breath here on earth. We don't know that day. But each day right now, you need to be preparing for that moment. Because when you lose your breath here, and there's no more breath coming out of this body, there is another place that you're going to go. And that's what we're preparing for right now, to go be with our Jesus. That's what we're doing. And if you're not doing that, then you really need to take a step back 
and look over your life and see who's in control of your life. If you see evil all around you, if you see friends who mean you no good, if every time you take 10 steps um, and, and, and you keep taking 10 steps, the enemy just letting you take those 10 steps. Because when I take 10 steps, five of them take me right back. I go right back. I take 10 more steps, I'm going right back. Because the enemy trying to keep me from going to where I'm going. But you might be taking 10 steps, 15 steps, 20 steps, and ain't nothing happening. You know why? Because the enemy already have you. The devil already have you in your life. So he's going to continue to let you Keep walking down that dark side, that dark road. And he's going to help you keep going further and further into darkness. And so when I'm trying to go forth, the enemy know where I'm headed. So he keeps pulling me back and pulling me back. But I keep fighting. I keep fighting that flesh. And I keep trying to go to the straight and narrow, to go to my king, to my Jesus, to my Lord. But you, you are just walking and walking and nobody's pulling on you. That's because the enemy, think about it. He already has you. He already has you. You are not a threat to the devil. You are not a threat. I am. So if you see that everything seems to be going good and you live in that dark side and it's exciting to you, the devil already has you. And if you don't be careful, you will be the one who will spend eternal damnation in hell. And God wants to let you know right now that you can turn around. You can turn around and head towards the light. There is freedom. There's eternal life with Jesus in the light. You need to go to, towards the light. And I'm not saying that to sound like the that movie, that evil movie. But no, Jesus is the light of the world. And you need to head towards the light which is Jesus. Okay, so we started on repentance and we talked about the battle that we deal with each day that's inside of us. There's a battle. There's a spiritual warfare and those are the enemy, the, the, um, the, um, the spirit of the Antichrist um, is trying to attack God's people. And so there's evil just all over the earth right now because the, uh, the devil know his time is running out. So he's really out there grabbing people to be on his side. But I point you to Jesus. I'm pointing you to Jesus. So let me go. I'm going to pray really quick and we're going to get off of here. Um, if you, um, you want us to pray for you, put your name in the um, comments. And we're going to be watching this video to be able to go and pray for you. So if you want us to pray for you or family members, please put your name in the comments and we will be praying. Okay. Father God, first God, we want to thank you, God, for um, sharing us the message on repentance, God. God, thank you, God. God, thank you that you have left us your Bible to teach us, God to teach us to understand the world that we're living in now, God. Thank you for leaving your inspired word, God, to help us, God, through a dark world, God. God, if Jesus is the light of the world, God, God, help us. Help us walk to the light, God. God, help us, God. Follow Jesus, God. Help us, God, to hear Jesus' voice, God. God, turn down the voice of the enemy, God. God, forgive us for anything we've done against you, God. God, for all the things that are called out, God, that we could have possibly done, God, against you, God. God, right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, I ask for forgiveness, God. I intercede right now, God, for my friends, for whoever under the sound of my voice, God, is listening to this prayer, God. I intercede on their behalf, God, that you will forgive them, God, 
Forgive me, God, for we, what we've done against you, God. You said sin is any unrighteousness, God. All sin is any unrighteousness, God. And please forgive us, God. Please forgive us. God, allow us back into your presence, God. God, we love you, God. You have been good to us, God. And for that, I say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Now, God, if there's somebody under the sound of my voice that do not know you, God, if there's somebody that do not know your son as Lord, Lord and Savior, God, I ask that you come into their life right now, God. I ask that you quiet in their spirit, God, that they can hear from you, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God. I ask that you turn down the voice of the evil one. Thank you, God, for what you're doing, God. Breathe on us right now, God. Thank you, God. You're moving right now, God. You're touching somebody that's on this video, God. You're touching somebody right now, God. Do it, God. Fix it, God. Do it, God. Thank you, God. God, we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. We thank you in advance for what you have already done, God. God, we thank you. It's in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. It's in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Okay, so we've prayed. Repentance is a daily thing. Each day. Because we're in this body, we have to repent daily. We have to. Some things we do and we are not even aware of it. And it's against God. Until the Holy Spirit starts convicting us for what we do, you may not know it's against God. So repentance is in order. So each day, you t you um, thank God for the day. But you also repent. Turn away from anything that you did that was not of God. Intentional or unintentional. Okay? Okay, guys. So I'm going to go, and I thought that we would talk about things that are going to help us with our walk with Jesus, okay, until we reach our final destination. You know your final destination is heaven, right? You know that's, that's where we're headed, all that are saved. So we're going to talk a little bit more about getting ready for our final destination, okay? Okay, y'all, I got to go. I got to go. It's been nice talking to you guys. If you're new on my channel, please subscribe right there at the red button. Please subscribe the red button. Now, the red button should turn gray if you subscribe to my channel. Now, so what God is doing, I'm trying to do full-time ministry on YouTube. I know that God is going to open the door. I know he's going to do it. But guess what? He sent you my way to help me on my way. I know what's for me is for me. It can happen when God said it can happen. And he sent some people to make it happen really fast. And that's you. So subscribe. Share my videos. Like my videos. And let's watch God change things through my videos. It's been a great um, time. talk. I've had a great time talking to you. But I got to go. Y'all have a good night. Okay. Bye.